Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for clicking on this video. Um, so today is not only my very first video, but it is my first whip and chat. Um, I'm working on the Mermaid and Friends by Diamond Dots. I picked it up at Hobby Lobby um, because I had never been there and the one closest to me had just opened a few weeks ago. They deemed it an essential business, but um, yeah, things in my state are starting to open back up. So I went to Hobby Lobby and grabbed this painting. Um, I'll insert a picture here and there's also a picture on my Instagram. My name is Sparkling Stitches and my real name is Abby or Babs. I go by either one. Um, And I am new to diamond painting, but not new to crafting. I'm just getting my pen set up so we can start here. So I just recently started diamond painting. Um, and the reason I got into it was because my grandmother has been into it for about a year now. I think she discovered it from a Facebook ad or something like that. And she decided to try it, and she loves it. And she had bought a bunch, and while being stuck at home and quarantined, um, I was okay in the beginning. And I stopped what I was knitting and I was crocheting, but I am a college student, and so I was doing schoolwork from home. And I was just getting bored, stuck in the house every day, uh, doing the same things over and over, it felt like, whoops, I already spilled some. Sorry if you can hear that noise now, that's just the fridge. Um, so yeah, I was, I felt like I was doing the same thing every day, stuck at home, uh, and my grandmother asked me if I would want to do a diamond painting. So I said, yeah, I would like to do a diamond painting. Um, I watched her do them and it looked fun. And so she said, okay, I'll get a kit all ready for you and you can come pick it up and try it. And the first night I was diamond painting for like three hours and I have too much wax in my pen right now for like three hours I got a big section done and I sent her a picture and she said wow you're fast you're she's pretty um and I will be doing another video with working on that diamond painting um and kind of talking about it it's not bad it's just I really, really liked this Mermaid and Friends and I couldn't wait to start it, whoops. And I just wanted to, <clears throat> excuse me. I just wanted to have maybe two going at the same time so that I can have some variety here. And this one has a lot of white background. Um, so I'm gonna try to work on some of this dolphin today too, whoops, while we're chatting so that you guys aren't just watching me put down white diamonds the whole time. This wax, I think I'm gonna switch. Oh, I don't know if I have it with me. I don't normally use this wax. I normally use the blue tack pen, which I've heard other YouTubers um, and other people talk about blue tack pen. My grandmother uses the wax. I decided to use the blue tack pen because this was before I had even watched any videos. I had just picked up the kit. Uh, my grandmother left it outside for me. I picked it up at her house and I could not figure out how to use this pen. I didn't understand. Um, I could not figure out how to use this pen. I didn't understand how, like I didn't know what the wax was. And then once I found out, I felt so dumb, but you know, that's how we learn. Now I know. Now it makes sense. Um, 
But yeah, so I used the blue tack pen. I forgot where I was going with this. But then I noticed that the blue tack kind of gets stuck on the diamonds. I was using the blue tack pen. I do like to use it. I think all I have with me is this pen in bread wax. So that is what I am using. It came with this kit. Um, so yes, so when I was at Hobby Lobby, I was looking at the selection of diamond paintings. There wasn't very many. She told me they were pretty cleaned out because right before coronavirus happened, this Hobby Lobby had just opened in my area. We didn't have one before, so their stock, I don't think, was completely full before they even had to shut down. Um, so they didn't have very many diamond paintings to begin with, and then... I was looking through them and I noticed a lot of them were partials, which I want, I really like full drill uh, paintings. I don't know. It just, I just feel like that is something, I just feel like full drill paintings are, I don't know, I just prefer them. I keep doing that because I press down way too hard, you guys, way too hard. I think it's because I feel like this wax isn't sticking because then sometimes I'm pressing too light. All right, one second, just gonna pick these up. So the whole reason I got into diamond painting was not only because of quarantine, but because of my grandmother. And she had made us all diamond paintings for Christmas of pictures like custom, custom diamond paintings. And yeah, so I just, I've been in love. I loved them at when I would watch her do them, do the ones for us for Christmas. Uh, I love to watch her do them. So, and I am the kind of person that needs that, uh, needs some sort of relief from everyday life. And diamond painting for me gives me a little, a little bit of time away from everything else in the world going on and lets me just not think really about anything except maybe the symbols. So I kind of touched on this before. Um, diamond painting is not the only craft that I do. I do knit and I do crochet and I like to color. Um, so I might be doing some different kinds of videos as well. But yeah, diamond painting definitely has my heart right now. It is so relaxing to work on. And my grandmother, God bless her, she is 76 years old. And she has never dyed her hair a day in her life and she has all the color in her hair so I can only hope and pray that I get those jeans from her that would be awesome so I should probably introduce myself a little bit um my name's Abby my closest friends call me Babs I do prefer to be called Babs um I'm in school for nuclear medicine technology and I have always known I've wanted to work in the medical field. So school is really stressful for me. I, I take a lot of courses. I have some difficult work. And yeah, this is just a really good break for me. I just finished my classes for the spring semester. And I start my, well, I was supposed to be starting my clinical in the hospital in June. But with COVID, I clinical in hospital got canceled. So I'm taking a class online right now. Well, not right now. I'm taking a class online starting in June when clinical would have started. Um, so that will be nice. I'll still be getting some, oops, that was crooked. I'll still be getting some experience. And then the other thing I wanted to say was, please do not mind my nails. I really need to paint them. I know I should probably do that soon. 
but I really wanted to make this video and get started on this because I've been thinking about this for a little bit now and yes, I really want to make videos not only so I can, you know, make videos and learn some things and learn from others and maybe teach some people some other ideas, but I'm going to move this because that was in your face the whole time. Um, but just so I can document the work that I do and... Kind of just see, like, you know, I'm already doing this diamond painting to relax myself. Why not make videos and teach people some things about crafting and learn more things about crafting and just communicate with people and, you know, it's just, and just communicate with people and it's just, it just seems like a relaxing, fun thing to do. I think it's fun to make videos and edit videos. I used to do it when I was younger. So now I'm just going to incorporate it into the things I'm doing that I want to share. Oh, but what I was talking about was uh, the partials. So Diamond Dot's uh, selection at Hobby Lobby was... Just most of them were partials. There was very few. Um, I really like this mermaid and friends. Technically, I guess it is a partial. I just spilled the beads again. Does that happen to, or the diamonds again, the drills? I just spilled the drills again. Does that happen to anyone else? My hand got stuck to the thing. Um, so yeah, so this technically is a partial um, in the picture. This, her skin and her, like her face and her arms and her stomach where her skin is showing, that is just canvas. But where her skin is showing is just canvas. So it technically is a partial, but um, all of the background is drills and the dolphins and her tail and her hair are all drills. So I am fine with that. Um, and it, the painting was actually $25, $24.99. And I went yesterday to Hobby Lobby and it was still there. They had more in stock actually. Um, I didn't end up picking up any because not all of them were in stock and there was a couple tiger ones missing and that's probably what I would have been interested in if I was going to be buying one. But yes, and then I, so I purchased it, I got it and I also got two skeins of yarn when I bought this painting. And I had a coupon, I believe for, I'm pretty sure it was for 40% off. I could be wrong. It could be 20%. I cannot remember right now. But the two skeins of yarn and this painting ended up being 24 like $25. So just what the just the price of the painting would have costed me, I got yarn and the painting. So I was very happy about that. I was okay with that and um yeah, I was really excited to get this started. I kitted it up like right away so that it would be ready for me. And then I kept looking at it every night. Literally, I'm not even joking. I would look at it and I just had to start it because, man, um, I have a full sleeve tattoo on my left arm that is ocean themed. So I just love the ocean and I have a lot of memories growing up in the summers at the beach. At a, I have a specific beach tattooed on me. Um, that means a lot to me, the pier at that beach. And yes, my whole arm, I have a mermaid, I have a shark. Uh, it's still a work in progress, probably will be for a long time now with everything going on. And I do love the ocean, so I really want to get that finished. 
at some point, probably when I graduate college at this point. It's very expensive to be tattooed, um, but I do love tattoos and I want more tattoos. I just really like the art, the artwork. Um, yeah, so that tattoo means a lot to me. I have another tattoo matching with my grandfather. Today is his birthday, actually. Happy birthday, Pepe. Love you. Um, he's turning 78, and you guys, this man is a rock star. He still rides his motorcycle around town. He works outside. Uh, he does woodworking with a lathe. I'm not sure if you know what that is, but man, oh man, I love that guy. We have matching tattoos though. I have his name in his handwriting on my, on my right arm by my elbow. And he has my name in my handwriting near his wrist. Um, yeah, that's my best friend. So, happy birthday shout out to Pepe, love you. So, back to what I was saying about looking at canvases. Um, I was pretty disappointed overall with the selection of diamond painting canvases in my area, near me, um, at least at the places I've been that I've looked at. Um, so I'm really finding out that ordering online seems to be the way to go. But the problem with online ordering is that I am still learning what is a good shop and what is not. And I'm trying to stay within my budget right now. Um, obviously, I'm still a student, so I need to be mindful of what I'm buying. But this is something that I enjoy, so I am willing to invest every now and again in a really good painting. I already have started getting some preferences about what I like and what I don't like. I definitely, um, I think this kit, yes, this kit does include, this Mermaid and Friends kit does include some AB diamonds. Um, so I'm excited to try those and I do believe it. I don't have the box with me right now, but I do believe it look, I think there's about six or seven colors of AB Diamonds. Don't quote me on that. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. So I'm excited to do those. Um, but what I ended up doing was ordering some off AliExpress. Now I know quality is a hit or miss. And as a new, uh, new diamond painter, I'm probably not... I'm not really knowing... I don't really know what I'm looking for yet, but I will know if something is bad quality. And from doing this painting and my other painting that I'm doing, I can tell that this mermaid is a lot better quality than my other one. But I am having fun doing the other one. My grandmother gave it to me. I love it. It's She's still, the doll in the picture is still pretty. Like I said, I'll do a video with that. But um, yeah, this this is just a much easier experience, I think, for me. Miss Mermaid and friends. But I did order a few off AliExpress and I actually got a quite big painting because I have plans for it. And I hope, I hope and I pray that it comes in good quality so that I can put it on a canvas. I want to mount it on a canvas when I'm done. I'm really not sure. It's just going to be a learning experience. So I did take a plunge and order one. Obviously, it's not that expensive if it's from AliExpress. Okay, sorry about that. I had to pause because I spilled a bunch of drills once again. I don't know what my issue is right now. Um, so let's keep popping and dropping. Um, so... Yes, I ordered some off AliExpress. They will probably take a while to get here. I got a big one. It's like a skull face, girl, pink skull. Um, I'll do an unboxing of that and video it when I get it in the mail. Uh, it's probably gonna be a while. Um, which is why I'm so disappointed 
in the selection of the stores, but obviously I understand. And I just wish that maybe there was some more brands at the store. Um, I'm not really sure. I would like to see some more kits, some more full drill kits, no partials. That's what I want. But for now, I'll order and I'll wait and I'm patient. I'm okay with waiting for it in the mail. Um, I just am having so much fun. I understand with everything going on, I'm not in a rush to get a bunch of paintings in the mail. I have a couple to keep me busy for a while. I just hope that the other ones come in by the time that I finish these. So I got a little Halloween kitty, um, and I believe it was from Hua Can, and this was before I had heard all these bad reviews about Hua Can, but I am gonna give them a try because I have heard some people do like them. Um, and it will be a good canvas to try. And I think I'm gonna try and seal that one, do some testing, experimenting with that one, uh, the Halloween kitty, because Um, I got, I ordered a size that was way too small. I think it's like literally a 20 by 20 or 20 by 30, something like that. It is not the details too much. And that was the first one I ever ordered after I got my doll. So I wasn't really, I didn't really know what about sizing yet um but now i am learning and i'm really getting a preference for bigger paintings you guys so that is why i took the plunge and got that big skull girl i think she i got her in a 60 by 60 square drills um i haven't i don't have a square drill painting yet but the halloween kitty is scared square drills so i'll be able to pat uh the Halloween Kitty is square drills, so I will be able to practice um, working with squares on that. And I have I do the checkerboard method sometimes. Um, at the start of this video, I kind of did a variation. I was just randomly placing. Um, so I will be using the checkerboard method to do those square drills on that skull painting. And then I can practice with square drills on the Halloween kitty, which will come before that skull painting. So I'm really excited. I have some good things coming in the mail. I also have um, another painting coming in the mail from AliExpress. It's a peacock with special, uh, special drills. So I'll do an unboxing of that when I get it and video or record working on that as well and I've seen that one finished on other places and oh lord you guys that peacock is gorgeous it's not my mom's style and I showed it to her and she thought it was beautiful and she's like oh it'll be perfect for like a dining room one day I was like yeah um it's really pretty I'm super duper excited for those to come in I just want to look at the canvas I, and kit them up and look at the drills and yeah, I just can't contain myself. It's probably best that they don't come in because I need to keep, keep moving on this. So what have you guys been doing to keep busy during this time? I keep picking up more and more crafting hobbies. Um, my whole family is crafty. My mom, my aunt, my grandmother, they all love to craft. My great grandmother was a crocheter and I got some of her hooks that my great grandfather made for her during the Great uh, Depression. He carved them himself for her so that she could crochet. And my grandmother said she used to make her, my grandmother said that my great grandmother, that's more clear, um, used to make her own yarn by cutting up strips of clothing and reworking it into yarn or different fabrics, I mean, and working it into yarn. And that is just incredible to me, you guys. I really want to, um, 
take those hooks and get some of her yarn. My meme thinks that she can get some of her yarn that she made so that I can put it in one of those boxy frames, square box frames. Um, with the crochet hooks, I saw something on a Facebook group when I posted about the hooks, the woman, a woman commented and gave me an idea to frame the hooks with some other stuff. She showed me a picture of what she did with her, I believe it was her mother's knitting needles or something. Um, but it was a really good idea. So lots of crafty things to do. Um, and I cannot wait for it to be beautiful out. Um, here where I live, it's been like 60 degrees, but high winds, or the other day it was literally snowing and freezing, but the day before that it was 55 and sunny or 60 and sunny, something like that, no wind. It is crazy, you guys. The weather here changes like on a switch. On a switch. I am a mess with these drills today, like literally a mess. All right, you guys, I'm gonna finish up some of this white, uh, or this is a seafoam green actually, bordering around the dolphin, and then I'll get back um, when I'm working on the dolphin so you can see some color work as well. All right, so I did some more work. Um, whoops, around the dolphin. Now I'm gonna do some work on the dolphin. Um, gonna work on some blues so all right I didn't take that many because I'm going to be working on that triangle shape um, and we'll go from there so So for all this white and seafoam green, yes, I could use a multi-placer. But placing them one by one, like I said, diamond painting is an art therapy for me. Placing them one by one is just therapeutic for me. I just like it. I know that they're, it takes a lot more time, but I feel like I can get them straighter and kind of control more where they're going. Although I did see Rachel Ray using the wheel tool. That looks really awesome. I really wanna try that. Um, she used it on Nightbringer as well. I really do wanna try the wheel tool, um, but probably on a painting that I don't like as much as this one, just so I can practice and get the hang of it uh, before I start using it. I This pen didn't come with a multi-placer. The other painting I'm working on did come with a multi-placer, but I'm just enjoying doing this one by one. So, yeah. So if you guys want to leave a comment and let me know maybe where you get your paintings. Um, also, do you guys use the multi-placer or do you avoid it like I do? Um, and there's really no rhyme or reason to how I'm doing this. This is a pretty confetti area. So I'm still figuring out, you know, what kind of methods do I want to use for diamond painting? Um, Obviously, there's the checkerboard method, which I'm going to try with the square drills once I get my kits in the mail. Um, but I'm going to figure that out. Also, what kind of wax or blue pen? I've been hearing a lot about patty wax. And a lot of people ordered some, I think, yesterday. Um, I th I'll probably look into that eventually. Should probably invest in that, try that out. So the wheel tool. Pet 
patty wax. Um, I need a bigger bolt as well, a bigger bolt for my drills because every time I shake these, drills are flying out of this because it's too small and I put too many drills in when I'm working on a big area that's all white or black or whatever. Um, so that Diamond Art Club. I am so excited to see what is going to be released this weekend. I probably won't order anything, but I do want to take a look. Probably everything will sell out. Um, but I really, really want Into Wonderland. And I really want Nightbringer. And I have plans. If I can get my hands on Nightbringer, I want it because I have plans for it. But Into Wonderland, just a super cool painting. But I'm excited to see what is coming this weekend. I also think that I spend a little too much time on AliExpress looking at different paintings. I want to try Ever Moment. I have heard a lot of good things about Ever Moment. So I think I'll be ordering from them. I want to get some customs. Another thing I ordered was a custom paint by number. That's going to be a gift. So I'll probably film that, um, but do one whole video in a review about the painting itself. I'm a little more nervous about that because it's kind of hard to keep wet paint in the lines. With diamonds, I can stick them on, I can move them, I can change them um, to a degree. But I figured if I can do diamond painting, I can probably do a paint by number. And I am wicked excited about it. Wicked. Um, during this quarantine, I've been watching a ton of YouTube and I love watching these whip and chats. I really like the really long ones because I like to watch them while I'm working on my diamond painting. Um, now I'm filming, but I do watch a lot of YouTube when I am crafting or before bed. Probably not good for me. Probably should figure out a different habit before bed, but... It's relaxing for me and I've been really enjoying Mrs. Coffee, uh, Mrs. Crochet and Coffee, Rachel Ray. Um, I've watched a lot of them. There's some others, Stitcherista I believe I've watched. Uh, I've also watched Stitcherista. There's a few others I just can't recall right now. There's, um, it just it seems like a really good community so I am really excited to start my diamond painting journey. Right now, I'm trying to figure out what the best way to store my drills is gonna be. I have ideas for leftover drills uh, already in my head, but I just stuck that on the wrong one. I have ideas for leftover drills in my head, but I don't know whether to invest in bead containers or uh, order some containers off AliExpress. I did see a few. I think I added some to my wish list for AliExpress, but yeah, right now I'm just using like a big, I don't even know what the word, it's like for embroid embroidery thread, one of those containers with the removable discs. Um, and it works and my beads are in little baggies. My beads are in little baggies like this and I cut the number off of the baggie that the drills originally came in. What symbol now? I'm gonna do some A20. And these boats that I'm getting, this one's better than the boat that came with 
my doll. But this boat is better than the boat that came with my doll, but um, it's still too small. I'm dropping drills like crazy. So a bigger boat, definitely in my foreseeable future. These colors are gorgeous, you guys. I cannot wait to see how this turns out. And I can't wait to get my hands on the ABs. I think the there's some green detailing in her hair. I'm pretty sure those are ABs. Um, I'm not sure what else. I'm trying to look right now. I don't know. But man, oh man, this is going to be beautiful. My grandmother, um, last Christmas, she was at AC Moore, which no longer exists, sadly. Uh, they had a good diamond painting selection, actually. I forgot about that. But she went around last Christmas and they had $6 diamond paintings, full drill. Um, and the canvas is huge. And they only had one design. It was Santa. So she picked it up. But she told me if they had more designs, she probably would have gotten every single one, even if she didn't like it, because it was literally $6. I'm not sure how big this Santa is, but she told me she's never going to finish it because it is way too big. So she said she would give it to me and let me do it because I, whoops, I can finish it. So I'm going to go probably get that today. Um, but yeah, it was $6, $6. I couldn't believe it. She showed me the box in person. This was before she decided she was going to give it to me because I don't think I was diamond painting yet when she showed me. Um, but it's a pretty big box. And yeah, that was an AC Moore. One of my mom's friend's daughters completed it, I guess. So maybe some of you got that same Santa. It's very big. It's pretty old now. I'm not even sure what the brand of it was, but yes. I am going to do that Santa for her, complete it. Um, so I'll probably do that one. I don't know, I guess I should probably start it this summer because it's probably going to take me a long time. Some of these drills look lighter than others, but I think it's just my lighting. Or my eyeball is tricking me. After this, I after I work on this for a while, I'm going to go visit my grandfather for his birthday for a little bit. Just stop by, say hello, probably get that Santa painting. And I have some gardening to do. And then I'm hanging out with my friend later. I haven't seen her in a while. I'm very excited to see her. Um, and yeah, it's a nice day out, but it is chilly again. So I can't wait for the straight 80 degree sunshine days. I really need it in my life right now. And I, I would love to be able to diamond paint outside and watch those drills sparkle. These look so good outside. Sorry if you hear snoring in the background. It's the dog. Um, she is curled right up. And I would like to be curled up in the sun right now too. So that's probably about it for today's whip and chat thank you for tuning in for watching for clicking i'm excited to get to know this community better and this art better and i'm excited for you to get to know me better so if you want to stick around feel free to hit subscribe i have some video ideas actually a bunch i've written a list um so yeah if you want to continue to watch, I would love to continue to have you around. So thank you for watching and have a great day, guys. Bye.